Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! card review slash discussion type video, and this time it's on a new piece of Necro support coming out in 2017 in the Maximum Crisis Booster set. The set that directly follows Raging Tempest in release order. Now, it's been almost, you know, two years, or in fact, over, over two years since we've had any new Necros cards in any sort of spoiled release, like... Necros of Sophia, I think, was like the last one. If it was not the last one, it was definitely one of the last ones. And ultimately, it's been two and a half years since the OCG had Necros in their bulk spoiled and released. And it's been almost two years. February 2015 was when we originally had Necros released to us as the full deck in the Secret Forces uh, little bonus set, the extra set, the special release set. But they're deciding to give this deck more support now. Which is a little bit interesting, so hopefully the card in question is, like, decent, at least. And, I mean, I guess this is kind of decent, but it still doesn't really do what it needs to do to put the deck back on the map. Because it's very obvious that this card is trying to fill a void that Konami themselves have created through ban list hits. But, the card in question is Ariel Priestess of the Necros, a water psychic effect monster that is level 4 with 1000 attack and 1800 defense. This is a direct parallel, and... The related card to Gishki Ariel, which is a flip effect searcher for the Gishki ar archetype. It's the exact same stats, exact same attack and defense, and its artwork is incredibly similar because it's the same, same card in theme and lore and all that sort of nonsense. But this card's effect is once per turn, you can reveal any number of Necros cards from your hand to your opponent. Until the end of this turn, this card's level is increased by the number of cards shown. If this card is tributed by an effect, you can add one Necro's monster from your deck to your hand, except a Ritual monster. You can only use this effect of Ariel Priestess of Necros once per turn. So, this card is very, very much trying to fill the void that Konami has presented this deck through their choice of banning Shrit, the key linchpin of making the entire deck function well and work. Now, this card has a similar effect to Shrit, Exa, and Great Sorcerer, and Dance Princess of having effects when it gets tributed. And its tribute effect can add one Necro's monster from your deck to your hand, except a Ritual monster. So it can search all the Necro's monsters that are not Ritual monsters. So this thing can search Exa, it can search Great Sorcerer, it can search Dance Princess, it can search Shrit. Shrit. It can search Shrit. Shrit. It can search Shrit! It can search Shrit! Ugh! Okay, so this card's level modding effect is very clearly trying to fill the void that Shrit left when it got banned. Because of the fact that all of your ritual spells require you to use exact levels to summon your monsters. And the fact that this card actually just sucks is actually just a huge factor into why this is not putting Necros back on the map. I'm going to explain to you why this card is not the best in the easiest way that I possibly can. The main thing that the Necros deck needs to be competitive is a card like Shrit, where it can just be used as the entire ritual tribute without being the same level as the monster you're trying to ritual summon in the case of Decisive Armor, Valkyris, and Trishula. Those cards all say that you cannot use a monster that is the same level physically as them for the ritual material. Like, that's the restriction. That's what was attempted to be the built-in restriction to the deck. But Shrit bypassed that, meaning Shrit was the key linchpin of the entire archetype. And the reason it is banned is because it worked a little bit too well at being that linchpin. Now, we do have alternatives in the form of, like, Gishki Vision and Gishki Shadow, but that's not a true solution. And that's ultimately where the problem lies of the Necros archetype currently. There is no glue that ties this entire engine together because of Shrit's absence. This card can mod its level around, yeah, but it's almost like Konami didn't read their own archetype that they designed when they made this card. <laughs> I got so happy when I read this card because I was like, oh, this fills a void that Shrit left. But then I realized it doesn't. It does nothing. This card does absolutely nothing. It searches your non-searcher cards, which you could already search with Brio. I mean, Brio is a little bit, you know, strained now because of the fact there's only one of it. But, I mean, come on. Anybody could have read 
the Necros cards and been like, oh, this isn't going to work. This card could have been playable and passable and actually have done something good for the deck if it had the exact same first effect as Shrit. Come on, guys. Konami did not read their own archetype that they were trying to add support to. I, I'm, I, I can't understand this. This is such a flop in terms of card design. You can read Gungnir, you can read Valkyrus, you can read Trisha Lee, you can read Decisive Armor. The four best cards for you to summon, well not best, but the four strongest, biggest cards for you to summon that have a built-in restriction on them that say you cannot ritual summon this card using a level 7, 8, 9, or 10 respectively monster. Whatever level the monster you're trying to summon is, you cannot use that level. You can literally only use this card to ritual summon things that are Brio, Cataster, Unicor, and Clausulus. You... <laughs> oh, why did they just not read their own archetype when they designed this card? You can, sure, mod this level up to 8 all that you want. Do it. I dare you. Activate your Necro's Ritual card and wonder why you can't summon your Valkyrus or your Trishula or anything like that. It would be different if this thing could mod its level up and down. That would be really neat because then you could actually hit levels that are what you're missing. Like say you have an Exa in your graveyard and you want to summon a Valkyrus. You could reveal a Necros card alongside this and make it a level 3, letting you banish your Exa and then tribute this from hand to summon like Valkyrus. Why was that so hard? But no, instead we are left with this card that almost basically does nothing to fill the void of Shrit, which is what they were very clearly intending to do, or else they wouldn't have given it a level modding effect. That's the entire purpose of this card, but it doesn't fulfill its purpose. Both of its effects are meant to be watered down versions of what Shrit can do, and boy are they watered down! They're watered down so much that they're absolutely terrible. I don't understand how you could design a card like this, having known the archetype you designed previously and the restrictions therein that it lies. And I also just, side note, I do not agree at all with archetypes getting more support printed for them if they have a card sitting on the ban list. That's a completely different factor all in, in, in within itself. But if you have a card on... A, a ban list that is a key part of an archetype, much like Shrit is, then what makes you think that printing new cards is going to be any more effective than just taking the card off the ban list or moving it up in quantity on the Forbidden Limited lists? Then, like, you could re errata that card to make it more manageable. Like in Shrit's case, you could just make a very small change to the effect. You could leave it as the exact same card, but you could make it add a warrior ritual type monster, but you can't discard that card from your hand for the rest of the turn or something like that. Make it to where, yeah, you can search Trishula, yeah, you can search Brio, but you can't use their discard effects that turn. Meaning that a lot of the power that card has was adding Brio and using Brio to get a search for anything else you wanted to continue your combo string. That hampers that a bit. It makes the card more fair. This card, uh, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't know why they decided to print a card like this. And I'm very excited that Necros is getting more support. But I would definitely be more excited if it was something along the lines of an actual Shrit replacement. Which this card is trying to be, but it isn't. It can't be. It physically cannot be for the reasons that make the Necros deck good. Now, if the Necros deck had something like Triple Unicor, and you could just play, like, you know, an extreme, like, Rank 4 Unicor Turbo deck, then maybe there would be some, you know, use there. But otherwise, like, there's just, there's nothing going for this card. There's nothing going for this card because it solves almost zero problems that the deck is currently facing. And that is the lack of Shrit, which means the lack of being able to summon your big ritual monsters that are what win you the game economically. There's no way to do that, and it certainly doesn't get solved with this card because all you have to do is read the cards and go, oh wait, I can't ritual summon Valkyrus using a level 8 monster. Check that one off the list. I can't summon Trishula with a level 9 monster as the ritual material. Check that off the list. I'm very disappointed in this card and Konami as a whole for designing something like this and expecting it to be passable. Although, 
Colossalus searches Necro spells and traps, of which we have no Necro's traps. So if they want to give us more Necro support, if they want to give us a trap that does something cool, then hell yeah. If they want to give us something like along the lines of uh, of the new Cleefort trap that like counts as three tributes for an Apocalyphort monster, if they want to give us something like that for Necros where it's like a trap that can summon itself and it's like this card can be used as the entire tribute for a ritual monster and when it's tributed you search a spell, like that would be good. It would be a trap so it would suck but it would be decent enough to be passable. It would be so much more passable than this card. That's the key thing here. But I think I've ranted enough on this card, because I think this card is shit. I think this card is terrible. It's a nice gesture, but I think it's absolutely terrible. If we're being completely real, I think that they could just have easily, more easily rerouted Shrit to be more manageable, and that card could come back, and then cards in the Necros deck could start creeping their way back out of the Forbidden Limited list. Because Necros is one of my favorite archetypes. I love weird mechanics, and Ritual Summoning is the weirdest of them all. And that was the best deck for a while. Like, come on. Any deck that's powerful and any cards that are good enough quality and powerful enough to make the worst summoning mechanic, the arguably worst summoning mechanic in the game, Ritual Summoning, the best deck of the format for a significant amount of time, yeah, those cards are definitely going to be something that I enjoy playing. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow a lot and helps me out a ton. Helps the community and the channel itself grow. And that's just a great way to show support. But other than that, if you like this video and you want to see more content that I've done, definitely head over to my channel and maybe consider subscribing. If you can't find anything amongst the thousand plus videos that are on my channel currently that is also a video you'd enjoy watching, then I'd be incredibly surprised. But other than that, check out the links on screen. They'll link to some other videos that you might find interesting as well. And as I already said, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are, as I've already said. And uh, thank you for your time as usual. And as always, guys... Take care. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully with a much better card.